happened. There's no NDA involved. You just sat up there and basically told the world, he's ours, but we ain't going to use him. Yeah. And they didn't give parameters you know? of what it would and, take and they, to reinstate they, they gave him. no parameters of what it would take for reinstatement. They, you know, they, they, they didn't specify what, what punishment they gave him beyond suspending him for the year. Do, is he getting his salary for this upcoming season? Has it been cut in half? I told he's only getting about 50% of it. Has that been cut he in half? characterized as okay. a significant financial okay. penalty. So, so you've got that going on. And, and I'm going to say this again. It said in the numerous news reports, it was a consensual relationship that violated organizational policy. So only... He is in violation of the company policy. The woman who elected to have a consensual relationship with him is not in violation. He gets to get mentioned and put on front street. We don't know who she is. The, what, what about the other women within the Celtics organization who have been victimized because wrong assumptions have been made by their involvement? If you knew exactly who it was, that would alleviate the concerns of all the other women who have had their names paraded out into the streets. What about them? You ain't thinking about that. So, we, so here we are. We're throwing him out to pasture. And again, Ime Udoka cannot be defended. His actions are his actions. I Nobody fights for black coaches more than me. But I am telling you, a, a, a firing would have been warranted. Or you keep him. But to keep him, yet suspend him, by the way, not just suspend them, but the, for, for the suspension to be indefinite. It's almost it's worse, just, like a lame it's, duck it's, it's, status. It's, that's what you did. You ruined his, yeah. you ruined his career I, okay. for the next few years. He did it. I he did his action. I think we have but, NBA reporter <laughs> and host of NBA Today, our friend Malika Andrews. Malika, do you have us? I've got you, Molly. Thank you for having I, me. Yeah, thank you for being with us. And obviously, you had the statement from Odoka that was given to you. What's your reaction now after hearing the press conference? Well, uh, Molly, thank you. If I could first start start with this. Stephen A., with all due respect, this is not about pointing the finger. Stop. What, what became apparent to me in this press conference is that we do not have all of the information here. And it was frustrating to me that the Celtics declined to elaborate or to give more specifics about what exactly the rule-breaking was that led us to this point. So, so that, I just want to get that out of the way first. But to answer your question, Molly, I think what stood ahead. out to me, I, I think what stood out to me is that Brad Stevens, he was upset. That's what stood out to me about what he termed uh, rampant Twitter uh, BS is the word that he used, that women were unfairly dragged into this within the Celtics organization. You could see that Brad Stevens was visibly upset about this. And I also found that to be gross and unnecessary, that folks were bringing in the names and the images of women that is just not a fact, that was purely speculation. And so to me, that is what stood out. But the Celtics as an organization could have done more. And short of doing more ahead of this yesterday, they could have owned that responsibility in this press conference. I understand that there were legal parameters that they had to operate within uh, for everybody involved. And I appreciate the fact that they brought in uh, outside counsel and did a thorough organization. And I think that that is something that was clearly uh, necessary in this situation. But the fact that it was able to go on all day, the fact that we are sitting here debating whether somebody else should have been suspended or not, we are not here, Stephen A., to further blame women. That is not why we are here. First of all, let me be very clear. I don't appreciate where you're going with that. I'm not blaming anybody but Ime Udoka. He deserves, the fact of the matter is I've said, he deserved to be fired if they were going to fire him. If you're not going to fire him, then don't fire him. My issue is all of this being publicized. The point that I'm trying to make is just you like you're not mentioning. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I listened to you. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I've already said, he deserves to be fired. 
or he deserves what to, to be there and handle it internally and privately. If you're not going to handle it privately, if you're going to publicize it in that fashion, then obviously it provokes everybody wanting to know, OK, well, who are the parties involved? When you have Amina Smith in Boston and other women pointing out the fact that there were women who were wrongly implicated in all of this, it's a disservice to them. I didn't come out with the report about a consensual relationship. I didn't come out with the report ahead of time leaking that we were, they were going to suspend him for the year. They did that. And my point is, considering how pervasive this kind of stuff has, has, has existed in professional sports for many years, my whole point is, is that, excuse me, make sure that you handle it in the same fashion it has always been handled. You could have fired him. And then we could have speculated till the cows come home, but he's gone. But to keep him there, keep him employed, but in the same breath, suspend him for a year, then also that year is indefinite. That is the issue that I have. Nobody's trying to protect Ime Udoka, and certainly nobody is trying to protect, uh, uh, is, to, is to excoriate the women involved or anything like that. I'm talking about how things of this matter are usually handled from an HR perspective, from an organizational perspective. That is not consistent with what we have seen throughout the years. That is the only point that I was trying to make. I'm not trying to attack anybody. And if anybody deserves to be attacked, it's Ime Udoka for putting himself in this position. I've made that very clear. I'm just talking about you got owners and everybody else. They know the kind of stuff that's going on. You didn't say anything about anybody else. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them. They didn't say anything about everybody else. Mm. All the other times this stuff has happened. But now when it comes to him, it's all over the place. That is my issue. That is my only issue. I appreciate that clarification.